Come with me, you will be in a land of pure imagination. Well, I can't take you to Willy Wonka land, and that's somewhere we all really need to be trying to go nowadays. But one thing I can do for you is I can show you how to cook some really good healthy food so you won't look like the Loompas, okay? So come on in here and I'm going to show you uh, how to fix a quick Asian stir fry. It is so simple. I've never fixed this before. This is, this is part of a TLS blog. So, and it's on the 30 day uh, quick start recipes. And I am just so anxious. My daughter's here and Michael's here and we're going to eat this when we finish. So I want to invite you in and just tell you some of the ingredients that I'm using. Very, uh, come on in, close. Okay, here uh, we're using the fresh broccoli and cauliflower, and I recommend using fresh vegetables if you can get them. I guess you could use uh, the frozen, but it's always best if you can get it fresh. So I've got my everything all prepared there. Uh, my green peppers and red peppers, mushrooms, onions. I've got my carrots all cut up and I've got my protein. And you can use any protein that you want to use. Uh, I'm using chicken and you don't need a whole lot of protein. That's a good part about this. Also have my um, basil. I, have, I don't have fresh garlic, but I'm using minced garlic that will do. And I, have, I do have fresh ginger, so if you can get fresh ginger, that's going to give it a much more of a kick. So I've grated that all up, and my base in the pan is the vegetable broth with the soy and the sesame seed oil. And you know, when you make this dish, you can make it as much or as little as you please. So I add a little bit more soy, a little bit more of the sesame seed than it called for in the recipe because I'm making a lot more. I'm making for more than two people. So you can adjust it according and put in the vegetables that you really like. I'm not that crazy about cauliflower, but I've got an ample amount in there. So you just heat up your oil, um, along sesame oil, along with your soy sauce and your vegetable broth, and you heat that up. You bring it to a boil. And then you're going to add in your garlic and your ginger and let that just simmer for a while before you start tossing in your vegetables. Now you're always going to use the hardest vegetables for first. That's what you're going to throw in. And we know what that is. That's that gum killing cauliflower. So we will throw that cauliflower and that broccoli in and let it cook. Next will come the carrots. Uh, then we'll throw in, doesn't matter at that point because everything else cooks down pretty softly. And then last, I'm gonna throw in my protein. I'm gonna switch it all around, toss it up. It's gonna be a complete meal right in this wok. Now, I'm hoping that I'm able to do that. May have to make two videos. I don't know how to make it stop because we're not gonna look at this while we're cooking. So anyway, so let's see what happens next.